Well, that was an interesting story, Bill. <laughs> I uh, originally was going to go to work with the Naval Electronics Laboratory in San Diego, California. Okay. At uh, forty-six dollars a week, and. Uh, <laughs> That was considered pretty good in 1951, particularly because the year before, jobs were just not available to anybody. But just a few weeks before graduation, I got a check for two weeks' pay, and they said that our grant has been canceled, and we can't afford you any longer. <laughs> so I was fired before I even went to work. Well, since I didn't have any money, I had to find a job in a hurry. And my father. What year was this? 1951. 1951. Okay. And my father said, "There's a company called IBM up in Endicott that's advertising for engineers." And I, he cut the thing out of the paper. I said, "Well, that's interesting. Never heard of IBM. I had no idea what they were." But I decided I would have to go up the East Coast, and I stopped at Philco, I stopped at RCA, and uh, these were all around New Jersey at the time. And my, each one I said to the same thing. The first company that offers me a job at an acceptable salary, I'm going to take it right now. Well, Philco said, yeah, we'll give you a job, but we can't offer it right this minute. It has to go through so-and-so. And I went to RCA, same story. Got to IBM, they offered me a job at $80 a week. <laughs> and they said they would give me the job now. So I didn't bother going up to Syracuse to GE. I just decided to go to work for IBM. Glad you did. And then I, and my first question was, what do you people do? 